So I'm going to go directly to server9.althusius.net. Okay. And I see that uh, WordPress software is working. It says doesn't, this, there doesn't seem to be a wp-config.php file. And since the web server already has full permission on that directory, we can just do everything right here from the uh, uh, web interface for WordPress. So create a configuration file. All right. Welcome to WordPress. And it tells you the things that you need to have handy. We should already have those things ready to go. We've got the database name, we've got the database username, and we know the database password. So let's click on let's go. Database name is server9. The user is dbuser. The password is h1l1t3. The database host is localhost and table prefix is fine. We don't need to change any of those. Now we click on submit. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and click on run the install. There we go. Now the name of the site is, we're going to call this server 9 blog. And I'll always change the default admin username to something nobody else will be able to get, or is unlikely to guess. Password twice to confirm your email. Okay, and I'm going to unselect allow my site to appear in search engines like Google and Technorati. I can always change that later. And we'll click on install WordPress. Okay, there it says it's a, su a success, and now we can log in. So I'll click on log in. Get my username and password. Click on log in. Ta da! Your new WordPress site. Now, just to make this complete, I'm going to click on posts. There's a hello world post that's set up for me. I'm going to edit that post. And I'm going to let the world know now that I know how oops, to set up. I guess set up is two words. WordPress on CentOS Linux. HTTP colon slash slash easy free unix dot com to learn how yourself. And then I'm going to save my changes. I'm going to click on update. And now we sh can click on our. Uh, blog and you can see here we've got a WordPress blog running here on CentOS and that's it